case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 2000 court case that set a precedent, the United States Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit deliberated on the legitimacy of using prior convictions as evidence in current cases. The defendant, Gerald Carroll, who had a previous conviction for armed robbery, contested his recent conviction on similar charges, arguing that his previous sentence was inappropriately used as evidence. Carroll's defense gripped the court's attention. He claimed that the use of this prior conviction as evidence was not only invalid but also misunderstood. The case brought to light a significant principle. Evidence of a prior crime can only be used to conclusively identify a defendant if a unique pattern, a signature of facts, linked the crimes. Although agreeing that the evidence was wrongly admitted, the court found this to be a harmless error. It did not significantly impact the case. While making a case for Carroll's identity and pattern, the court found that the two robberies were not similar enough to be classified as a unique modus operandi. Consequently, Carroll's prior conviction could not conclusively confirm him as the perpetrator in his current armed robbery case. However, despite the mistaken admission of the evidence, the Court of Appeals affirmed Carroll's conviction on the principle of harmless error. The similarities between the two robberies, although deemed too common to form a distinct pattern, were nonetheless notable. As a result, Carroll's sentence of life imprisonment, coupled with an additional 20 years, was upheld. The court deemed the abuse of discretion, a judicial error, inconsequential due to the weight of the other incriminating evidence against Carroll, including positive identifications and self-incriminating statements. The United States v. Carroll case demonstrated the fine line court's tread when considering past deeds as proof of present guilt. The verdict, despite being underpinned by legal exactitude, undoubtedly exerts a profound influence on not just Carroll's life, but also the broader landscape of law enforcement and judicial decision-making. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.